Scotty the Body against Rex King. And in King's Corner will be Steve Dahl. And Jonathan Boyd, who happens to be Snotty the Body's manager, will be handcuffed up here in the Crow's Nest for that big title match tonight. Also tonight, a big grudge match between Rip Oliver and the Grappler. Now, during that match, all other wrestlers will be escorted, will be removed from the building. Here's a very important announcement. Mark this down. Tuesday, October the 24th. That is the 21st anniversary of the Portland Sports Arena, the House of Action. Now, on that night, we're going to have a big birthday bash. Don Owen has put together a tremendous extravaganza card for that Tuesday, the 24th of October. Also, another reminder, the 1990 Dream Match. Be sure and get your cards and letters sent in and vote for what you think would be the perfect match to see in 1990. And we'll tell you about that address a little bit later. Now, getting back to this TV title, here's the belt right here. As you know, it was vacated some time ago. Well, next Saturday night, we are going to have a tournament to determine the new television champion. But tonight... We're going to have a hat over here, and during the night, there will be names dropped into the hat. And we will announce, before we go off the air, the pairings for next Saturday night tournament for the TV championship. So all during the night, we're going to have names dropped in. What do you want? Let me tell you something, John Cox. This goes out to the crippler, Rip Oliver. I hope all your buddies, those long truck drivers, can hear what I'm saying right now. And I hope they work real hard all week long in those woods and their back hurting. Because all week long, I was in happy hour party with those old lady. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Oliver. If you got enough guts to show up, boy, tonight it's me and you. Everybody out of the building, we're finally going to settle it. I'm getting sick and tired of you turning your back and running like a coward, boy. You're talking about the grappler right here, the number one man in the sport of professional wrestling in the Northwest area. Be ready for me. All right, we'll be ready for all the action right after this. Don't you dare go away. We'll be right back. My daddy, Tom Peterson, will turn your color on tomorrow. That was me 26 years ago. And since then, we've turned on color televisions in over 200,000 homes. That's right, Kathy, over 200,000 homes. And right now, you can save $62 on Zenith, our best-selling 19-inch remote, colored TV, only $297. Now, now that's, that's Tom, Tom Peterson. Peterson. Hey, Dave, come on over for the barbecue. Thanks, but it's that time of year again. Ah, you got time for that later. Even though the weather is still pretty nice, it's time to get ready for old man winter. How's it going? And Freddy's has the brand you need for cold start mornings and tougher driving. All set. Because you never know when the weather might take a turn for the worse. And snow is forecast for tomorrow morning. The weathermen say we can expect from 2 to 4 inches in the next 24 hours, so be sure to take along those tracks tomorrow. The Z800, the one Les Schwab recommends. Exciting new tread designs in pickup and RV radio. The performance all-season radio for the 90s. Sale prices on batteries and 50,000 aluminum custom wheels. All this and more, part of the Les Schwab Fall Tire Classic. Unique in today's tire industry. There's more than 200 Les Schwab Tire Centers combined to bring you the largest gathering of tires, wheels, and batteries possible. A major event to get you ready for fall. Look for the sign and remember the name. Les Schwab. Yeah! Pop Secret makes fun times even more fun. <laughs> so get in on the fun. Pop Secret. We live to pop. The secret's out. New Pop Secret Life. Half the fun. All the fun. All the taste. So lighten up with new Pop Secret. Lights. Video recorders on sale. Two head 188, four head 288, hi fi 388. That's Tom Peterson's. Fall. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this quarter, 228 pounds, the sensational Beetlejuice. Referee, Sandy Boy. We're getting ready to get started here. Hey, is my mic working, Carson? Oh, mic your mic is working, and your mouth is certainly no. working. Apparently, moon dogs are afraid of rats. Well, that uh, is crowbar. That's crowbar, and that happens to be Beetlejuice's uh, juicer rat. Hey, what's this? What's uh, he's, he's yelling at you. Can you can you read lips? <laughs> if you can, we apologize for that. All right, moon dog Moretti and Beetlejuice. This place is quite of this place out here, Scotty. This place is packed tonight. There. Yeah, they're all here to see me. Oh, really? Mm, that, that's what your mama told you, right? Shut your mouth, boss. <laughs> Let me tell you, I tell these people what's coming up tonight. They're going to see Rip the Crippler Oliver. Ridiculous guy that he is. He's all mad at the Crappler, so I guess they're going to have the big showdown tonight. Big grudge match. A and you and all the other wrestlers are going to be outside the building. You know that, of course. Oh yeah, yeah. What you're gonna you mean? you're gonna be escorted by security guards outside the building. There'll be no other wrestlers mean, in the entire we, building. We can't even stay in the locker room. No, you can't stay in the locker room. Oh. You're going outside. You're going outside during the Grappler Oliver match. Look at Beetlejuice. He reminds me of pig pen on the peanuts with all that dust and germs floating around. What is that stuff? Powder all over the place. That's Beetlejuice. That's it's what disease. it is. It's like the uh, plague. It's like locusts. It's the it's like a plague, the bubonic plague flying through the air. Well, M Moretti may feel like he's in there with a big germ or something. Hey, look at this, look at this. The guy is, 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 I don't know, he's in another dimension, Beetlejuice is. It... Well, you, look, look at that, that. look at that. And notice, notice Beetlejuice's father, Mo Bar doesn't do a darn thing about it. Powder and stuff, now he kisses him on the forehead. Yeah, that's disgusting. And out goes, Moon oh. Dog he's rubbing his face on the apron oh. of the ring. Juice germs. That's gross. <laughs> that's like the cooties, boss. Oh, come on. Hey, it's... what's going on, boss? I already got some big, some big bass, some celebrations for this uh, sport, uh, the sports arena's 21st anniversary or some nonsense. That's right. On October the 24th. Mark this down. October the 24th. That's Tuesday. Got and it. And which anniversary is this? The 21st anniversary of the Portland so, Sports Arena so the House build, of Action. So the building's one-third as old as you are, boss. Oh, that's real cute, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all that. Where are we going to be this week, boss? Where are we going to be? Let's oh, hey, hey, mention the fact that that is going to be a big birthday bash. Don Owen is putting together a super card for that Tuesday night. You know what's going to happen? He's going to put all the candles on the cake for his birthday, he's, and the building's going to burn down. Oh, <laughs> Anyway, Monday tonight will be in Longview at the Armory. Matches start at 8 p.m. Tuesday, 11th at Corvallis at the Armory. Matches start at 7 p.m. Set your watches for 7 p.m. Tuesday night. Thursday night at Woodburn, 7 p.m. at the Armory. Set your watches there. Friday the 13th, Eugene, the fairgrounds, 8 o'clock. A big 10-man battle world. What? That's Friday the 13th. You're going to be there? Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Is Jason going to be there? Huh? Is Jason going to be there? Uh, Jason might be your opponent that night. Well, who cares? <laughs> anyway, they got a big 10-man battle royal. Reservations 484-0840. And then back here in the sports arena. And things really pop, because then Sunday, Sunday the 15th, Pineville, Oregon. Monday the 16th, Roseburg. Tuesday the 17th, Astoria. Wednesday the 18th, Gresham. Thursday the 19th, Salem. Oh. Wait a minute! The juice wrapped up in the ropes, and out goes Moretti. Yes, sir. Moretti thought he had him in the ropes, and uh-uh, you... That's where you think you got Beetlejuice. If Moretti would have connected with that, you would have seen the bug juice go splat on the well, table. Well, you didn't see that, though, because he didn't. That's about That's... 300 pounds on a six-foot frame there. That's a big, hardy man. <laughs> yes, it is. Inside Boom. he goes. Hardy man and all has just been whiplashed inside. By the way, we're talking about next Saturday night. Mark this down, the 14th. Next Saturday night, kids free at the Portland Sports Center. No. Yes, when accompanied no. by paying adults, all oh, kids are free. That's right. That's right. You know what, though? I gotta make some analysis here, of course, because apparently you don't do any analysis in these matches. Bug Juice had the man going. 
and they went out to have refreshments and chit chat with the people gathered there at ringside. That's stupid. He should have stayed on his man while he had the advantage, and quite possibly he could have got a victory. I don't see any chance of him beating Moondog Moretti if he's going to continue to do this kind of thing. Well, let's just see what happens as both men lock up against the uh, turnbuckle. Uh, repeating once again that on Saturday night, October the 14th, all kids will be admitted free of charge when accompanied by paying it up. There you go. And then they got that TV tournament next week. Wait till, wait till, wait till Madrill finds out about that. The what? Yeah, wait till Madrill finds out about kids free next uh, Saturday night. What about that TV title tournament next week? That's right. Next Saturday night, the TV title television championship tournament and... What cost? Wait a minute. Hold it. We have, we have a correction to what I just said. Around the pole! No, Steve Reddy's too smart. Ah, oh, big drop kick! He thought he was too smart. Come on, Moretti, get up! Oh, some fan just got him a Beetlejuice jacket souvenir. Not that they'd want it. Big backdrop! Hold you know, up. He could knock out a sacroiliac going on a backdrop on a guy the size of Moretti. Knock out the whole lumbar region. <laughs> Is that near uh, Portland? Uh, hey, listen, we've got a, a, a correction, apparently. Next sa on Saturday night, October 14th. I'm just going to read what this says right here. What is next Saturday night? Is that the 14th? Yes, cause it's the first Friday right. the 13th. All right. And so that'd be the right, day right, after. Hang on. Stay on them already. Stay on them. All right. A, a, a correction here. All kids will not be admitted free next Saturday night. Ah. Apparently, Al Madrill stepped in and did something. I don't ah. know. Oh, a big right. elbow. You made a blunder, cause. You never see me making blunders like that. Hey, Madrill was responsible for the blunder. It'll just kicks out after the count of two, and Moretti's trying to want each wonder now, what do I got to do to put this guy away? This is this crowd. The crowd is Beetle. No, no, it ain't but the bug juice. Hey. He's got no brain. <laughs> it, 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 it hurt him. He, he got He's, backlash on that headbutt. He looks a little woozy. Here he goes. Oh. That doubles up Beetlejuice. Now what about this TV title, boss? Now everybody knows the TV title. Whoever wins the TV title will be the number one contender for my Northwest Heavyweight title. Well, let's put it this way. They will be the number one contender for whoever is the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Champion at that time. What do you mean? Well, we'll find out later on tonight. You know what, Claude? You oh, got big boot in the midsection. There's one Rex King standing in your way. And a fist drop right to the chin. Oh, right on the oh, money. Man, Beetle and Beetlejuice Juice got a glass jaw, too. Be Beetlejuice is, uh, his eyes are glassy, right? I think his eyes are glassy. It's hard to tell. You see, cause Rex King stole my belt. He could not beat me. He stole it. He stole the belt. Didn't beat me. So the thing is, I'm not even worried about him. I'm going to beat him tonight, and whoever wins the TV championship will be the number one contender for my title. My championship. Well... The, the names will be drawn tonight to determine who's going to be in the tournament for next Saturday night. Here comes Moretti! Oh! The top the rope! Dog in oh, baby, that is 300 pounds. Woo! Off the top rope. Oh, he's going to be out of it. What? I can't believe it. How did he... What possessed Beetlejuice to... Uh, I think he was unconscious. He was unconscious on the first two counts. It's these, it's these people! Oh, the fans it's are... These, it's this people support, this fan support that you stirs the Beetlejuice fan on. Fan power, partner, it's fan power. Now look at Moretti. What's he got, a nose lock on Beetlejuice? What's he doing to him? What's he doing to him? Oh, man. He's uh, he's resorting to anything he possibly can, Moretti is, to try to put Beetlejuice away. But he has really got to be confused right now and very, very frustrated wasn't, and flustered. Wasn't Beetlejuice confused before he walked in the building, though? Just look at him. You can tell he's confused. A nice sight salto suplex, though. Well, he's and not another confused. kick out. He's not confused when it comes to kicking out. After the count of two, man, he should have been put away a few minutes ago. But you know what? Look, I'm already showing a very impressive array of skills for a man his size and for his girth. He does have a big girth, no doubt about it. All right, there goes a kick into the midsection by Beetlejuice. A pop right on top of the head. And Moretti has got glassy eyes right now as he grabs a head full of whatever that is on Beetlejuice's head. Oh, oh. Claw. That's a claw. Oh, an eye poke. That's illegal. Claw, poke, chop. Illegal. Uh, illegal, illegal, that's illegal. illegal pro wrestling. You should know that. Into the rope. Go, oh, look. Holy mackerel, where's he going? Hey, hey. drop that top rope backwards. Moretti is down on his back. He's going to do it again. He's flying. It's like a circus act or something. Coming up. Oh! Beautiful clothesline! He clotheslined Moretti coming off the top. He came off the ceiling, I think. He came off. Listen to this place. This Wait. place is going crazy right he's now. Going, he's going up for the flying juice bomb. There he goes, yeah. Oh. 
He nails it. That's One. it. It's over. Two. Put it away. Put it away. Ow. One, two, three. Just I hate like that. that. I hate that flying tooth bomb. Don't you just love it? All right. We will be back with more after this timeout. Today at Tom Peterson's, you can buy this white Westinghouse, family-sized, heavy-duty, matched washer and dryer pair for only $468. That's just $25 a month. And you get free delivery today, free setup today, free haul away today. We call it super service. And it's all happening during our 26th happy birthday sale, where it's worth the trip. Time out. Seconds are ticking away towards the end of your Northwest Chrysler Plymouth dealer's big 89 closeout. 89 closeout. And the watch for his savings with 2.9% financing or 1,500 cash back on Colt GT imported for Plymouth. Big savings. Colt GT has aero styling plus available turbo for great looks and performance. Looks and performance. Test drive one today. Don't just sit and watch. It's time to see your local Northwest Chrysler Plymouth dealer today. Terrorism grips the world. Unexplained disasters occur. No sane person would ever connect these events. That's what they're counting on. There are no accidents. This is war. War of the Worlds. Every Sunday night at 8 on KBTV 12. many in our community who need help. Babies born already addicted to drugs. Families who can't pay the rent. More and more people with no alternative than to live on the streets. The United Way campaign is now in full swing. Over 100 agencies to benefit from your gift. Or you can designate the service agency you want to support. Give whatever you can. Take the time to carry enough to share. Our lowest price ever. 100% Pioneer car stereo system with four Pioneer speakers, only 187. That's Tom Peterson. Now we're getting ready to give you the pro wrestling calendar for the coming week. Before we do, a reminder that this is the hat that the names are going to be dropped in tonight to determine our TV uh, championship tournament competitors next Saturday night. All right, here we go. Starting Monday the 9th in Longview at the Armory, 8 o'clock bell time. And big card scheduled in Longview. Tuesday, the 11th in Corvallis at the Armory. Now, that's a 7 o'clock bell time in Corvallis. So make sure you, you know exactly what time the doors open at 6 and the action starts at 7 in Corvallis. And uh, that should be Wednesday in Corvallis. Wednesday, Corvallis. Thursday, Woodburn at the Armory starting at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock at Woodburn. Now, next Friday, the 13th in Eugene at the Lane County Fairgrounds, a Friday the 13th card, a special over there, big 10-man battle royal scheduled in Eugene. Next Saturday, of course, right back here at the Portland Sports Arena. And a correction to what we said, all kids will be admitted free of charge on Saturday the 28th. So mark that one down. Sunday the 15th in Prineville at the Crooked River School. Monday the 16th in Roseburg at the fairgrounds. Another reminder, too, that we have a lot of these novelty items. The big hand uh, with the number one hand on it. The, the finger poised is number one, which is on sale today and will be all the time. In fact, right here at the Sports Arena. Also, pencils and bumper stickers. And Bill Francis is here. Oh, you got a name? Uh, I, just to, I just want to say one thing. You know, nothing made me happier than being the champion. I'm going to put my name, in there, my name in there now. I'm kind of excited about this. This will be the first belt that I've uh, gone for in a while. And I'll tell you what, people, I'm ready. Thank you. Okay, Bill. Bill is uh, the first name to go in the hat for the TV title tournament for next Saturday night. We'll be back with more after this timeout. Today at Tom Peterson's, quality furniture you can afford. Choose this early American sofa and love seat, only $4.99. This contemporary sofa and love seat, only $4.99. This traditional camelback sofa and love seat, only $4.99. Your choice, just $25 a month plus free delivery to your door. It's all happening during our 26th Happy Birthday Sale, where it's worth the trip. Hey, Dave, come on over for the barbecue. Thanks, but it's that time of year again. Ah, you got time for that later. Even though the weather is still pretty nice, 
It's time to get ready for old man winter. How's it going? And Freddy's has the brand you need for cold start mornings and tougher driving. All set. Because you never know when the weather might take a turn for the worse. And snow is forecast for tomorrow morning. The weathermen say we can expect from 2 to 4 inches in the next 24 hours, so be sure to take along those traction devices. May I help you? Sure, I'll have a cheeseburger, man. Cheeseburger macaroni? That's our specialty. Hamburger Helper Cheeseburger Macaroni turns plain hamburger into a rich, cheesy meal. Hamburger Helper makes a great meal. So you want cake? No, you need cake now. Boom. My Perez from Betty Crocker. That's micro as in four minutes, rave as in rave reviews. Instant total gratification. Yeah. I still remember when I was on the Rambler Ride Show. Look, here's his boat. And now he's celebrating the show's 25th anniversary. You know the best part? It's these cool Ramblin' Rod 25th anniversary t-shirts with Rod and Bugs Bunny and Popeye. You can order yours for just $9 by sending a check or money order to T-Shirt Care of KPTV PO Box 3401 Portland, Oregon 97208. Radical! Hey, don't forget to tell them your size. Video recorders on sale. Two head 188, four head 288, hi-fi 388, that's Tom Peterson. from the kendo stick match last week when I wasn't here. But that shows you what the punishment these guys take up here in the ring. Don Owens, do you think I care? Who cares about Carl Stiles' shoulder? I sure don't. And I know these people out there don't. So don't even mention it. Uh, if you were watching last Saturday night, you saw the beating that Carl Stiles took with those kendo sticks. I'm surprised he's standing in there right now. And he deserved every bit of it. Oh, hey, wasn't that what? nice? He brought Ginger to the rig with him. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, oh, uh, knock wait. it off. Knock it off. Uh, I'm losing my voice. Yeah, you're always trying to hog the spotlight anyway. Right? All right, Carl Stiles against Al Madrill. Now, let me make sure that everybody understands that on Saturday night, October the 28th, all kids free. And 28th kids are free. Next Wednesday, we're Wednesday. going to be in Corvallis, bell time, 7 o'clock. As opposed to Tuesday. That's true. That's true. Which I stated earlier. But I was only incorrect because I was given the wrong data from the fax <laughs> machine. Yeah, I've heard about some wrong dates you've had. Uh, oh, oh, wait, oh, See, Carl was pulling hair. You know, Carl's Carl a naughty boy. 
That little pig farmer's always pulling people's hair. Hey, well, Madrill's pulling somebody's leg because Styles was not pulling Madrill's hair. I, I got a question. Carl's always pulling everybody else's hair, but how come he never brushes his own? You never see Carl with brushed or combed hair. Why? Why doesn't Carl comb his hair? It's really peeving me off. He's, he's country Carl Styles. He can do whatever he wants to do with his hair. Oh, tremendous power move. I am Madrill, and Madrill is down. What's Madrill doing with his boot there? He's... See, you know what he should do? That's the second time he said. No, wait, well, he's not pulling hair. You know hair. what Styles should do? He should go to hair performers at the Jansen Beach Mall and not only have his hair styled, but maybe even buy a brush. And then he could comb it all week long by himself. Wouldn't that be peachy, huh? Why don't you... Uh... <laughs> oh, look who's here, What's my manager, Lord Jonathan Boyd. Come on down, Big Daddy. Jonathan Boyd is in the crow's nest right now. What's... Oh, it's in right in front of the camera. That's all right, John. Cross up, come up here to put my bloody name in the hat because I want to be the leading contender to the heavyweight title. I promised Scotty's mother that he'd keep that title forever. Me being the leading contender with this TV title, I'll assure that damn promise. It's, all right, all right. What we're a guy. Put, is is he great or what? Gonna, well, listen, we're going to put his name in the hat. He's great. What a manager. But, yeah, well, he may not feel that way when he finds out who he's going to be fighting. And we'll oh. all find out later on. Big kick out by Carl Stiles. You know, that's loyalty. My mom pays him a lot of money, and he shows you that loyalty, because if he's the number one contender, that means everybody has to get through him to get no, no, the No, 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 no. You're confusing loyalty with greed. Yeah, mom paid the money. That makes Boyd loyal. <laughs> that's greed that makes him loyal, not loyalty. Oh, six to one, half dozen to the other. Oh, oh he's just going out of on his fingers. Woo, mercy. You know... Look at look at Carl Stiles' shoulder, man. That thing's black and blue. It, it's uh, all cut up. Kind of matches uh, his brain. Man, I tell you, he's really, he really took some beatings in there, those kendo sticks. And later on tonight, we're going to have another kendo stick match. The, in fact, the kendo stick match of all kendo matches, and that's between Brian Adams and Bill Francis. Cut off the road. Oh, ducks the clothesline. Back body drop. Whoa. Sky high. But you know what? That kendo stick's nothing compared to the match you're going to see when the grappler gets a hold of that ripped the crippler Oliver. Well, that uh, that will be in a very exciting match. Well, that'll, and be, that'll be coming up on TV tonight. But on TV. That there will not be any interference in that match because all the rest of you guys are going to be outside the building. And, like, like, I guess you're insinuating that we might interfere if we were in the building. All I'm saying is there'll be no interference. These, these men have got a grudge to settle. They've got a... A feud to settle, it's going to be settled tonight. End of the rope goes El Madrill and oh El the only God. thing that's going to be settled tonight either, because Rex King stole my Northwest title belt, and I'm going to win it back tonight. They oh, look at that. Oh, a knee and a chin. They forced me to defend that belt tonight. I didn't want to defend it, but they forced me, and now I'm going to kick Rex King's butt all over this town. Wait a minute. You were, NWA rules specify that you've only got 30 days to defend the belt. What were you What were you planning on doing? Just kind of hanging on to it for a couple of years? Look, Paul got his head rammed into the turnbuckle. Sure, yeah. yeah. Well, that's uh, the only thing that Rex King did. He just, he just having some fun Ooh, with right he took back. the belt. He doesn't have the title. He just took your belt. I know, and I'm going to win it. Now I'm going to win it back. I'm going to take it back after I beat him. There's well, nothing for me to win. That, was, to that was just Rex King's way of telling you, hey, put the belt on the line. And, and that's what's going to happen tonight. I'm the champ, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> well, right now, and Carl, Boyd's going to win that TV title and be my number one contender. Oh, let's just, let's just wait and see what, uh, what happens on that. We've got a lot of names to draw yet. There are only two names in the hat right now, Bill Francis and Jonathan Boyd. Your name's not in the hat yet. I don't have to put my name in the hat, cause, because I'm the champ. I'm not going to be involved in it, because I don't want to be the number one contender to my own belt. That's silly. <laughs> listen to this guy. No, don't listen to this guy. Uh, Al Madrill. Al Madrill, once again, complaining to uh, referee Sa Sandy Barr. Oh, and now you're right across the face of Carl Stiles. And Pops, boy, you could hear that all over the arena. What's he got in his hand there? He what, got nothing in his what's hand. What's he got in his hand? No, I already put it away. Okay. You missed it. I did miss uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. There goes the suplex coming. by Carl Stiles. Madrill is up, over, and down. Yes, sir. Just like that. Well, Madrill can bring in all kinds of arsenal, but... Two kicks out. Carl Stiles does not know how to finish a man off. They can beat on him all day long. He's a big, powerful man, but he does not know how to finish off an opponent. Well, and, and Madrill doesn't know how to... 
how to fight without that lighter or some kind of foreign object. Look at that. There he goes into the trunk. He's got that lighter again now. Now, you, are you watching? Are you watching? Look, what's he doing now? He's going to set that thing up. Fire, and he throws a fire across. Right, aimed right at Carl Stiles. I think it hit Stiles, but all it did was make him mad. Now, Madrill's going to pay for this. He is going to pay Stop for that, all fired up. For that <laughs> act of violence. Oh, oh big clothesline. He about put his head outside. Clothesline, now he's going to beat on him. He's just going to beat on him. I tell you, he's fighting Sandy, fire with fire right now. Sandy Boar's trying to put a... He's going to throw Sandy Boar. Oh, he throws Sandy. Now he's putting outside. the boots out. Do you call that sportsmanlike? Do you call throwing fire at somebody sportsmanlike? It wasn't a fire. It was a solar flare. <laughs> well, right now, Carl Stiles... Oh, now he's going to throw Sandy hey, Wait a minute. Now, carefully. Carl Stiles is getting himself disqualified or fined Man, or suspended. I don't appreciate that. You never see me doing that to a referee. As Madrill rolls outside, and now Carl Stiles, I uh, going to come over and leave. A, a rule abiding wrestler like Al Madrill, and Carl's cheating like, oh, it just it irks me. It, leave me alone, cause I'm being irked. Rule abiding? Uh, you are. All right, inside goes. Al Madrill and Carl Stiles is all over him, man. Wait he, a minute, look at this isn't a disqualification. He, Al huh? Madrill, Andy Barr is disqualified. Hey, Carl Stiles. It would have been a disqualification if. It better be if one Madrill, now. Holy mackerel, it might be now. That's three it times. It is now. Yeah. Well, it's about time, Sandy Barr, do uh, your job. Carl Stiles just, uh, yeah, he, he just lost his cool. That's that's all that happened. Lost his cool. He, he lost his cool because he had fire thrown at it. He threw the referee three times. Look at him, look at him. He, oh, man, he wants Madrill. He should have been disqualified he, after the first time, he, boss. He wants Madrill. Look what? at that. Al Madrill. Oh, that, that's too bad. Yes, that's Al, too baby. Madrill, the winner. The lover, right, baby. Disqualification. I can't believe it. We'll be right back right after this. Portland's Best Buy on an audio rack system complete with CD is at Tom Peterson's. 100 watts of power. Three-way speakers. Dual cassette with Dolby, CD player, and it's all Sanyo and only $4.99. That's just $25 a month. And it's all happening during our 26th Happy Birthday Sale, where it's worth the trip. Well, I started as a volunteer because I thought it would be interesting. But once I got into it and met the different students and the great people that are involved with organ literacy, I learned that I, I love it and that's why I do it and continue with it. Time to Care proudly salutes Beverly Brookins, volunteer tutor for Oregon Literacy. Bob Lamp here, Beaverton Hyundai for used cars and trucks. An 85 Chrysler 5th Avenue, loaded, only $59.56. This 86 Pontiac Grand Am V6 Air Power Steering and Brakes, $74.80. An 83 Honda Civic 5-speed, only $34.89. Or a 79 Camaro Z28, low miles, just $32.75. Bob Lampere's Beaverton Hyundai, your regional discount Hyundai dealer. At Beaverton Hyundai, we have used cars that make sense. It's the great Oregon Fleorama. Every weekend, something new. Browse through almost 500 tables of unique gift ideas, antiques, toys and clothes for the kids, jewelry, glassware, tools, fresh produce, electronics, records and tapes, hobby items, handcrafts, novelty items, the list is endless. From the ordinary to the extraordinary. It's the Fleorama. Indoors at the Multnomah Kennel Club, just off I-84 at Northeast 223rd in Gleason. Plenty of free parking, Saturdays and Sundays, 9 to 5. It's the great Oregon Fleorama. Watch the exciting Washington State Lotto Drawings with big cash prizes live every Wednesday and Saturday at 6.59 p.m. only on KPTV, your official lottery station. Carl Stiles, nobody can blame you for the actions you took out there in the ring. Everybody saw what happened. They saw Madrill throw that Mr. fire. Mr. Coles, here's my name, but I want to say something. I'm getting sick and tired of getting hurt every time I go out here. And these guys, they never want to do the right thing. I'll tell you what, I got my arm hurt last week a couple of times. And it's just getting ridiculous. This Madrill, he threw that fire. That ain't that ain't necessary. And I tell you one thing, it's going to start. It's going to get where I'm going to have to do something because they're doing it. Back at the home there, we had a walking stick. We went out to punch cattle. I know how to use that walking stick, and I'm going to have to take it, and I'm going to have to show Madrill and all the rest of these guys where that walking stick's coming from. Because I'm going to hit them right between the eyes. And they're going to pay, get paid back for some of the things they've been doing. All right. 
All right, we got uh, Carl Stiles' name in the hat. Your name going in? That's right, baby. A lot of people are getting hurt around the Pacific Northwest, and a lot more are going to be getting hurt. But right now, I've got all the confidence in the world that Red Steve's going to walk out of the ring the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Champion tonight. I'll tell you what, the Southern Rockets might just have all the belts wrapped up next week because I plan on taking that TV title, baby. All right, one more name in the hat. Hey, yeah, you know, on September 23rd, October 23rd, Big Tuesday, the big 21th anniversary, 21st anniversary, I'm looking forward. They're going to have a spectacular card and all the people here. But next Saturday night, <laughs> it's for the TV title. You know, Art Barr was the first person to ever hold that title, and he's told me a few tricks and secrets to get that title. Here's my name, and Snotty, I hope I get you. All right, we got names in the hat. We're going to find out who's going to fight who in the tournament next Saturday night, a little bit later on tonight. We'll be back with more right after this. My daddy, Tom Peterson, will turn your color on tomorrow. That was me 26 years ago. And since then, we've turned on color televisions in over 200,000 homes. That's right, Kathy, over 200,000 homes. And right now, you can save $153 on the Zenith 25-inch color TV console, only $4.97. Now, now that's, that's Tom, Tom Peterson. Peterson. To the average car, this could be a dangerous body of water, even though it's only an inch deep. That hardly faces the new four-wheel drive Subaru Legacy, the latest in foul weather gear. It weighs one millionth of an ounce, yet it can take a 2,000-pound car and blow it right off the road. But not the new four-wheel drive Subaru Legacy. Think of it as a five-passenger snowmobile. Line five, base hit, Murray coming around third. And the puppy out. What an animal. And he's out. Out. Who's going to work? We are. Out of what? A beer. Oh. Don't run out of beer. Come into an AMPM mini market and stock up on hams. The suitcase of 24 cans is just $5.99. Rex, yo, where's the beer? Go to AMPM and pick some up, would you? Go for what? And uh, bring in the paper. Stock up for less at AMPM. Sunday, Agatha Christie tangles with an all-star cast of suspects and murder. I feel the presence of evil all about me. Can the clever Poirot discover who done it? Was it Betty Davis? David Niven, Olivia Hussey, Mia Farrow, Jack Warden, Angela Lansbury, Maggie Smith, or George Kennedy? No one to put the hand grips on? Not yet. Discover the sinister secret behind Death on the Nile. Sunday night at 5 on CPTV 12. Only at Tom Peterson's, our best-selling Zenith 19-inch color television, just $1.97. That's Tom Peterson's. We have a special tape we'd like to show you right now. It's a unique way that Rex King had of forcing Scotty the Body into putting his title on the line. This happened last Saturday night. Watch this. Just dancing to Scotty the Body's music, and Rex has got the belt. He's got the championship belt here. They steal the man's belt, then they try to distract him from winning the match. Wait, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. The Scotty the Body. Where's Rex King? Hey, uh, I, I got news for you, Scotty. Uh, Rex King just kind of took off with your belt. He got uh, my belt. Yep. He never beat me. Hey, hey, stop. hey, listen. I got some more news for you, Scotty. You just lost. You just lost the match. You were counted out. Up here worrying about your belt. Well, as you can see, Rex King was having a pretty good time playing keep away. 
But tonight, a lot more serious now out there in the middle of the ring as Rex King and Scotty the Body meet for the heavyweight championship title. Let's go out to the ring right now. October 24th, we started this sports arena. That's become into existence. So we are now of age, and on the 24th of October, on a Tuesday night, we're going to celebrate our anniversary of 21 years and have a big wrestling bash here that evening and we're planning a lot of extra things so put that down on your counter because it'll be one of the biggest cards of the year i don't know how we ever made it but we did has to come up here in the crow's desk to be handcuffed. I think they're going to handcuff him to the screen, I, I think. <laughs> they better not be Why handcuffing him to me. To yeah, Jonathan Boyd, that's part of the deal. He's, he's handcuffed up here. I think Steve Dahl remains at ringside in the corner of Rex King. But Jonathan Boyd has to come up here. And they're gonna, yeah, you bet, they're going to handcuff. Now, do you bring out the snake? I don't see the snake anywhere. All right, they're getting uh, Boyd out of there. Oh, he looks like he, uh, he's going to take on a couple of security guards. All right, they're going to bring Boyd up here into the crow's nest and handcuff him somewhere up here. This, I don't know if they're going to handcuff him to the guard. I guess rail. the understanding was that kangaroo Jonathan Boyd had to be handcuffed up there in the crow's nest so he couldn't interfere in this bout in any way shape or form so that's the reason why they took him up there the next event will be one fall for the northwest heavyweight championship introducing in this corner 238 pounds from florida the sensational rex king his opponent in this corner 236 pounds, the New Jersey stud, Scotty the Body. Scotty the Body and Rex King. This is for the title. And uh, over here in the corner, let me get over here. Over here in the corner, Rex Jonathan Boyd is handcuffed. Hey, you got, they got, they got you handcuffed in there good. It's very bloody embarrassed to be handcuffed or anything, but being up here with you is even worse. Scotty the Buddy does not need my help. He's never needed my help. He's the greatest champion the North West has ever seen. And his mother's going to be mad at me for being handcuffed up here. I told his mother I'd be at ringside every match. 
Well, you're not at ringside right now. Boyd is handcuffed up here. They've got him handcuffed to the screen. And they've got him locked in here pretty good. He's not going to be moving out of here. There'll be no interference in this match, Boyd. I never interfere in Abby's matches. He is a wrestling expert. He doesn't need me to interfere. We're not talking about a wrestler. We're talking about the Northwest Heavyweight Champion. Now he's out there defending his belt. He shouldn't have to do this to such a low grade like Rex King. Well, I don't think he needs it ringside anyway. Scotty the body working on Rex King right now, trying to tear that left arm off of his body. King really getting an arm bar now. He's locking in the pressure points on the elbow and the shoulder on Rex King. And uh, King was having fun last Saturday night, but we, so we knew it was going to get real serious out here real fast, and it certainly has. The end of the turnbuckle goes Scotty the body. A back body dropped by Rex King. And now the Southern Rocker is rolling at the expense of one Scotty the Body. This is for the title. Now, I got a, a very important announcement. Mark this down for next Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. You folks in the Salem area, we're talking about the Southern Rockers. Rex King and Steve Dahl are going to be making a personal appearance at Taco Bell, the grand opening of Taco Bell on Commercial Southeast, right across from Fred Meyer, and it's for charity. It's for United Cerebral Palsy. From 11.30 to 2.30, KSLM Radio will be there broadcasting live. You'll see Rex King there, and hopefully he's going to be all right. And you'll see Steve Dahl there, too. And right now, Rex King is working on Scotty the body. In fact, he's working on the body's left arm right now. And up here in the crow's nest, we've still got Jonathan Boyd handcuffed. And he's locked in here good. He's not going anywhere until this match is over. Listen, I don't have to go anywhere. Look at Rex King out there. He's got the ugly bloody ginger. He's got Steve Dahl at ringside. And there's nobody out there, not even his mother, that cheer for him. All these people... I uh, booed him because they're jealous of him. This man is a king among the wrestlers. Uh, well, okay, that's the uh, the manager of Scotty the Body talking right there, Jonathan Boyd. And uh, he's pretty frustrated right now, Boyd is. They've got him handcuffed up here to the screen. He cannot be at ringside. And he, and he doesn't have his snake up here. Baby doll is nowhere in sight, thank goodness. As Scotty the Body... And now an exchange of left arm, arm bars as Rex King now has Scotty the body. And, oh, man, just raking that arm over the shoulder. And the crowd keeping count. A very painful hold. A painful move out there, Jonathan. Rex King's nothing but a kleptomaniac. He stole the belt. He forced Scotty the body into this match with the aid of Barry Bloody Owens. And now he's out there not doing, trying to win a match. He's just trying to hurt his arm. Rex King's a bloody idiot. He's a rock and roll star, a singer of a band, and he's rose up the damn ladder so quickly that when he tumbles down the night and Scotty beats him, he'll never wrestle again. Hip toss by Rex King. Well, he's holding his own out there pretty good right now. He's looking good as he goes for a pin on Scotty and gets the one count, and that's it. Remember, again, this is for the title. This is for the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Championship. And... Uh, Later on tonight, we will announce the pairings of our television championship for next Saturday night. I'm going to bloody be winning that, I guarantee you, because nobody is going to get close to him. Tonight on TV, Rex King is going to be defeated. I'm taking Scotty the Body out to the Acropolis, and down there we're going to party. We're going to go to the Kettle Company. We'll probably party for about four or five days. He's going to win. He's the champion. Look at his strategy now. He's wearing Rex King out by giving him body to Rex King so Rex King can get tired. Then Scotty will come back and beat him after death. All right, well, don't count your snakes till they hatch because a lot of things can happen between now and tonight. You may be taking Scotty to the hospital. But all that will all remain to be seen later on tonight. In fact, after this... Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. What? Don't say bloody hold it. See this here? This is a saw. I'm smarter than anybody because... The mother of Scotty the Body said, I had to be a king, and I'm the king, not only a lord, and I'm cutting myself out of it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, we can't, we can't. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Boyd is cutting, he's, he's cutting the screen up here, he's cutting the handcuff. Look, 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 look what he's doing. I don't know where, he, where that hacksaw came from, but he's got a saw up here, and he's cutting himself free. And... Oh, we got to get some security or, or Barry on or somebody up here. Wait a minute. This, he's got a hacksaw up here. He's cutting this screen. 
He's cutting the, the, the handcuff. They had him handcuffed to the... Now I'll be where I'm supposed to be. I'll be with my wrestler. I'll be with Scotty the Bucker. Oh, for crying out loud. He, he cut the handcuff with that hacksaw, and now he's going out to the to the ring. That, what do they got to do to keep this guy up here? We talked about interference in this match. This is a very important match. Jonathan Boyd now is heading for the ring. Why he thinks he needs to be there for uh, Scotty the Body, I have no idea. Now, Scotty is going to... Wait a minute. Outside goes Rex King, and there's Jonathan Boyd, and he's on King. But here comes Steve Dolan, he's on Jonathan Boyd. Oh, baby! Left and right, and we've got a Donnie Brook going on outside the ring. Steve Dolan and Jonathan Boyd going at it. Oh, man, they're, they're fighting their way back to the dressing room or out into the parking lot. And Scotty the Body just clotheslined Rex King out on the floor. He just leveled him. Their attention was diverted. Rex King was watching Steve Dahl and Jonathan Boyd, and and Scotty the Body just clotheslined him out there, just leveled him out there on the floor. And referee Sandy Barr now is counting, and out goes Scotty the Body again, and he's got Rex King right. He's gonna just throw him back in. He's gonna roll him back into the ring as our championship match continues. Scotty the Body coming off and driving that fist down in the forehead of Rex King. Man, I hope Rex will be okay to make it to our big promotion next Saturday. And that King kicks out of the counter, too. Scotty the Body, you see the look on his face? Scotty the Body said, okay, I got this one under control. I got it made. Mama's going to be proud. And right at that moment, Rex King kicked out. And uh, King just, he just closed line Scotty and did it again. The second one took him down. There's another one. Got in the body being closed like, oh man, he came back in, knocked the wind right out of Rex King, flying mare, and now Scotty the body, okay, he's going to go for an elbow drop, no, oh, he, he elbow dropped all right, he hit Sandy Barr, he hit him right in the chest or in the throat, couldn't tell, and Sandy Barr is outside, he is hurt, and inside is Rex King, seizing the moment, seizing the opportunity, He's a neck breaker on Scotty the Body. We could have a new champion, but we don't have a referee. There he's going for the pin. One, two, three. You can count to about 25, and the referee's outside. He's on the floor. We don't have a referee in here to even count to three. The crowd has counted to about 15 right now. Scotty the Body flat on his back. Rex King's one what? What's going on here? How come we don't have a... How come I'm not the champion? All right, now, we've got... Sandy Barr is finally getting to his feet. But in the meantime, what's Scotty the Body got? He's got some powder or something in his head. He took something out of there. He's got some powder. He threw it into the face of Rex King, and King is blinded. He is down. Sandy Barr did not see what happened. There's powder all over the place. Sandy Barr counting one, two. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Rex, I'll tell you what, what a... What, uh, uh, and now, what's he going to go for? An airplane spin? No. Oh, man. He's, now he's adding insult to injury on uh, Rex King. One, two. No, oh, King kicks out. King kicks out. He hasn't lost it. I did not see what happened. Apparently, King got his foot up over the bottom rope or something. I didn't see. Oh, wait a minute. Go behind. Roll up. And King now has got Scotty the body. One, two. He's got him hooked. We got a new champion. We've got a new champion. The ploy that Scotty the Body used with that powder and everything backfired on him did not work. King, apparently he did get his foot over that bottom rope, and that broke the count. But I thought uh, I thought King was counted out, but he was not. He came back with a roll-up on Scotty the Body, caught Scotty completely by surprise. We have a new Pacific Northwest heavyweight champion, and it is your Southern Rocker, Rex. King, the new champion. Keep the down. No. Shut up. Baby. Shut up. Now what did he do? Hold it. Rex King, you did it. I demand the rematch right now. I want a rematch. He doesn't have Rex King, you cheated. You tried to use powder with the bit of a gun in his eye. Oh. I demand a rematch. I demand it. His mother will demand it. She's going to be mad at me, King, and we want that belt back. He's the Northwest heavyweight champion, not you. King has 30 days oh, before he has to I put that belt up. I don't care if it's 
right now, I don't care if it's next week. Man, John, my mom's gonna be pissed. Oh. Uh, uh, okay, all right, let's, let's, let's get out of here. Let's, 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 they, they want a rematch. We'll find out what happens. We'll be right back right after this. Today at Tom Peterson's, you can buy this white Westinghouse, family-sized, heavy-duty, matched washer and dryer pair for only $468. That's just $25 a month. And you get free delivery today, free setup today, free haul away today. We call it super service. And it's all happening during our 26th happy birthday sale, where it's worth the trip. If you don't want to slow down on your way home. Yes, the ride's here now. If you think having fun means jumping in with both feet. Yes, the ride's here now. You realize that in some sports, you can't call a timeout. So call for the silver bullet, the one that won't slow you down. Light. Yeah, it's the ride's in now. When it comes to sacking a quarterback, I don't let anything stand in my way. But doing something about my hearing problem, that was another story. Mike had trouble hearing me and others, and we had silly battles about how loud the TV should be. My wife got so frustrated, she finally demanded I get my hearing checked. I did. My hearing problem was corrected with hearing aids. Others might be helped medically or surgically. The important thing is that most people with hearing problems can now be helped. So if you or someone you love has a hearing problem, arrange for a hearing checkup now. For hearing help information, call toll-free hearing helpline, 800-EARWELL. That's 800-EARWELL. Or check your telephone directory for a hearing help professional near you. You should hear what you're missing. Video recorders on sale. Two-head, 188. Four-head, 288. Hi-Fi, 388. That's Tom Peterson. <laughs> corner, 248 pounds from Australia, kangaroo Jonathan Boyd is appointed in this corner, the sensational southern rocker from Texas, Steve Dahl. Mercy, look at Steve Dahl, he is on fire out there, as Boyd tries to put it out a little bit now, with a couple of shots right to the forehead, and Dahl is hurting, he's into the, the turnbuckle, face first. Dahl came in here like he was on fire. He just laid, oh, man, he laid a fist right into the ear of uh, Jonathan Boyd. Man, oh, man, into the rope. They go. Boy, don't miss your chance to be here next Saturday night. I know that, well, there's a lot of people here tonight. There's going to be a lot of people here next Saturday night. Make sure you're one of them. This is a great place to come and celebrate a birthday. Right, we, uh, we got Pam Knight. She's 11 years old. She's celebrating a birthday. Nina Dole uh, celebrated her birthday here a little while back. Man, I tell you, this is the place to be. Celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, or just celebrate the good time. Yeah, well, the Seagull's not exactly having a wonderful time right now, thanks to Jonathan Boyd, as Sandy Farr pulls him off of there and says, hey, you're supposed to break the man who's tied up in the rope. Oh, look at this, now, Dahl coming up behind Boyd. Hello, wham, just like that. And the beard, and now Boyd is wrapped up, and Dahl says, ah, oh, let's see how you like it. Oh, what do we got? What do we got going on up here? Got all night. We're up here. We want a split screen so everybody can see that we're going to put our name in the hat next. All right, Al Madrill. Al Madrill, Brian Adams, and Moondog Moretti are off here. All right. All right, right put that camera over here. All right. Screen. We've got a split screen. Right, go ahead. Here we go. I'm putting my name in. And I don't care whose name I get or whatever, I'm going to win. All right. In my head, I got the name of the new TV champion. And guess whose damn name that is, Cost? Uh-huh. And Moondog. 
is the only name that needs to be in the hat. M O R E T T I. I am the new TV channel. All right, there they go. There they go. Moretti, Madrill, Brian Adams. Their names are in the hat, and we now have a winner of our match here as Boyd is counted out. And Steve Dahl, winner by disqualification. Steve Dahl, the winner. I don't know where Boyd went. Uh, he may, he may be, he may uh, be at the concession stand. I don't know. We'll be right back with more after this timeout. Today at Tom Peterson's, quality furniture you can afford. Choose this early American sofa and love seat only $4.99. This contemporary sofa and love seat only $4.99. This traditional camelback sofa and love seat, only $4.99. Your choice, just $25 a month, plus free delivery to your door. It's all happening during our 26th Happy Birthday Sale, where it's worth the trip. Tony wants to send Sam skiing. Hey, look at this, $250 for one week of skiing. $250 for a week of skiing? That's a very good deal. I'd go if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go if I were you. <laughs> overtime to help. Something stuck, Bo. Let me give it a whack. I'll get out now. <laughs> on the next, Who's the Boss? Who's the Boss? Monday night at 6.30 on KPTV 12. In most ways, it's unlike any Subaru ever built. It's a full-size luxury compact with more horsepower than any car in its class and the styling and amenities of a European sedan. Yet you get a feeling from this all-new Subaru that it has somehow been here before. That it has inherited a tradition of excellence in front and four-wheel drive technology. Which makes this more than our finest car. It makes this our legacy. There are many in our community who need help. Babies born already addicted to drugs. Families who can't pay the rent. More and more people with no alternative than to live on the street. The United Way campaign is now in full swing. Over 100 agencies to benefit from your gift. Or you can designate the service agency you want to support. Give whatever you can. Take the time to care enough to share. Learn about the huge cash rewards you can claim on Missing Rewards. The rewards can be yours. Sunday night at 10.30 on KPTV 12. That's right, baby. It's fiesta time. You know what that means. It's party time, baby. From the one and only, the Latin lover, El Madrill, baby. I just love it. I'll tell you what. First of all, I want to call you in here in a minute, Don Cost. But I want to tell you people out there that are listening to me, he mentioned earlier in the program that brats were going to get in free, but that is a no-no, and it's not going to happen. So you people out there listening to me, forget about it. There's no kids free. Thank you. And now, Don Cost. You can come in here, we'll pick the names out here, and tell everybody what's going to happen next week in the tournament, who's wrestling who. We're going to find out exactly who's going to wrestle who next Saturday night for our TV title, our TV championship tournament. In this hat, we've got everybody's name. And we're going to draw out names and pair the opponents. Are you ready? Go right ahead. All right, here we go. All right, there's uh, Moondog Moretti. Moondog Moretti will be fighting... Bill Francis. Bill Francis? <laughs> Bill Francis. You ever see him with that helmet on? He wears it on backwards. He walks that way, too. Do you ever notice that? He's not going to wear the helmet for this thing. Don't worry, moon puppy. You'll get him. Who's next? All right, here we go. Bill the next, Francis. next one is Carl Stiles. Right. Carl Stiles will be fighting. Oh. Steve Dahl. Steve Dahl and Carl Stiles. Ah! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Because I just got to wrestling Carl Stiles. And you know what he told me? A little secret. I'm going to break Steve Dahl's neck. <laughs> How do you like that? So see you later, Steve Dahl. You can join Scott Peterson and go bye-bye. All right. Calm down. Now here, all right. Here we go. Two more names. Two more names. Jonathan Boyd. Jonathan Boyd will be fighting... Oh, Beetlejuice! 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 Oh, Beetlejuice! Beetlejuice, you're finished and you know it. You notice that? He's got that funny haircut. Did you notice that, too? Hey. Yeah. Let's, let's just let the man speak for himself in the ring next Saturday night. All right. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice and Boyd. All right, let's have the next pairing here. All right. Brian Adams. 
Whoa. Big Brian, Brian, Big Brian Adams Big. will be fighting Big Brian. Al Madrill. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? That's not my name. I didn't put, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, you made a mistake there. They're all in there. They're all in there. Brian Adams and Al Madrill. Hey, Brian Adams. Amigo, Paisano, you know, we're Alfredo. Don't worry about it, brother. You and I are going to have a good match. Don't worry about these uh, cuckoos. Let's, let's get out of here. All right, that's going to be great. Next Saturday night, TV championship, television championship tournament, and you're going to be in there with, with Big Brian Adams. We'll be right back with more. No, wait a minute. I ain't going to do it. No, yeah. Brian, I, Amigo, Paisano, we'll drink some. My daddy, Tom Peterson, will turn your color on tomorrow. That was me. 26 years ago and since then we've turned on color televisions in over 200,000 homes that's right Kathy over 200,000 homes and right now you can save $62 on Zenith our best-selling 19 inch remote colored TV only 297 now, now that's, that's Tom, Tom Peterson, Peterson. You never know what you'll find at Sandy Bar's Flea Mart. Open from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every Saturday and Sunday at the Sports Arena, 8725 North Chautauqua. Two big buildings filled with jewelry, toys, tools, children's clothes, glassware, new items, old items, and good food. Come on out and see for yourself every Saturday and Sunday at the Sports Arena. It's Sandy Bar's Flea Mart. Take I-5 to the Lombard West Exit, go nine traffic lights, turn right, and it's just four more blocks. Horseback riding lessons at Chartwell Farms. Out of doors or indoors. Invigorating, fun, and challenging. Expensive? Not at Chartwell Farms, where we take care of owning the horses, leaving you only the pleasures. We offer English jumping and western lessons to all ages from 6 to 60, or sponsor a horse by the month. Chartwell Farms of Shoals, just seven miles from Washington Square. For more information, call Chartwell Farms at 628-3973. Missing. Children and adults nationwide. Their loved ones want them back. Maybe you can help find them. Missing. Artwork, videotapes, collector's items. Their owners want them returned. Maybe you know where they are. Join host Stacy Keach for Missing Reward and explore a world of missing evidence, people, and prized possessions. Learn about the huge cash rewards you can claim on Missing Reward. The rewards can be yours. Sunday night to 10.30 on KPTV 12. Our lowest price ever, 100% Pioneer car stereo system with four Pioneer speakers, only 187. That's Tom Peterson. We have another special tape that we want to show you uh, regarding some action that happened last Saturday night right here at the Portland Sports Arena. As you know, the grappler uh, made not only disparaging remarks about Rip Oliver's uh, brother, Jerry, but he attacked him physically right up here in the crow's nest. Well, that didn't set too well with, with the crippler. And a lot of things happened last Saturday night in the ring. And I'll tell you what, at one point, Rip Oliver's son, Larry Oliver, brought a special tool to the ring just to kind of help his dad. And, and uh, this is what happened. Watch this. The fan try, trying to get to their feet. The grabs are reaching over for the rope. And Oliver, Oliver just trying to get to, to his feet. Both men, both men now, but the grappler got to Oliver first, and both men go for the same punch, and they hit each other. Man, I tell what are we, we're fighting in stereo here. Both men going for the same move, and the same punches. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, what's that? That's Larry Oliver, that's Rip Oliver's son, and he brought out a, uh, that's one of those logger tools. I think they call that a cheater bar, isn't that what they call, yeah, that's a cheater bar. Oliver now has, in his hands, a cheater bar, and the grappler's got that chemical stuff. He's got that, he's got that liquid that he blinds people with. He's, he has broken it now, and he's going to spray it all over Oliver. No! <laughs> no, sir. The grappler just took a cheater bar right in the gut from Rip Oliver. And now Oliver, look, who's got the deadliest weapon, huh? Who's got the deadliest weapon? Oliver misses. He misses again, but he's got the grabber on the run. He's got the grabber on the run. His son, Larry Oliver, brought him that tool, that cheater bar. And, and now the grabber comes back with a boot. And now grab the, Oliver comes back, and he's choking the grabber with that bar. And the grappler's got that, that liquid stuff all over him. 
And that's got to be burning him right now. Everything's backfiring on the grappler. Wait a minute, there's Scotty the body. Scotty the body trying to pull Oliver off of the grappler, and there's Al Madrill in there. What is this crap? Now, we got everybody in there. There's Rex King, Jonathan Boyd, Steve Dahl, Bill Francis. The ring has filled with men from both sides. They're all fighting each other. In the meantime, the grappler falls out of the ring, and Oliver's going after him. And Oliver's got that bar in his hand. And he's chasing that grappler again, just like last Saturday night. He's chasing him back towards the dressing room, maybe out into the parking lot. And in the ring right now, we have complete mayhem. We got everything. What that was when the logging industry, they call that a cheater bar. And I'm telling the grappler was very lucky to escape last Saturday night and to make it here tonight. And now it's coming down. It's showdown time right here at the Portland Sports Arena, the house of action. Rip Oliver is ready, but I don't see the grappler. Where's the grappler? Well, Ladies Rip and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall to a finish. Introducing in this corner, 248 pounds, the king of the lock cut drivers, Rip Oliver. Did you ever think you'd hear a crowd cheer for Rip Oliver? Man, they've been doing it the past couple of three weeks. Don Owens, last week the deal was Barry Owens said he'd give me the match tonight. All the wrestlers be escorted out of this building where there won't be no interference. Grappler and myself right here. And I'm going to do just what I promised all these people I was going to do. I'm going to kick the butt. All right, Rip Oliver telling it like it is. And that's right. That was the stipulation of all the other wrestlers. Last week, last Saturday night, Barry Owens said he'd give me the match. The match was signed. All the wrestlers escorted out of the building, completely out of the building, locked out where they can't get back in. And it's just Grappler and myself. So Grappler, get out here. That's right. All the other wrestlers that's have to be taken from the building. Okay, tell the security guards to get everybody out of the building. All right, now let's make sure that this, that this happens. Some of you go out front, some of them out the other way. We're going to swing our cameras around here and see if we can get a, a shot of the wrestlers being escorted from the building. And boy, it would be impossible to count everybody, but uh, there, there, there they go. Well, that looks like the crowd leaving the building. But somewhere in there, we've got wrestlers that are going to be escorted outside the building, I think out into the parking lot. That was one of the that was one of the things Come that Rip Oliver insisted upon. No interference in this match. This is more than the grudge match. Grappler, you can run it high, but it's just me and you tonight, Daddy. There's Al Madrill. There's Brian Adams. Not looking too happy, but they are leaving the building. Under there's Scotty the body. I see. And he was the one that said, "Oh, I'm not going to leave." Oh, there he goes. So long, Snot. There they're going, all going outside into the parking lot. Looks like they're all there. Now, where is the grappler? We're still awaiting. Is, 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 is the grappler? That's right, grappler. Come right on here, buddy. I got something uh, your daddy should have given you a long time ago. Here he comes. Here comes the grappler. Left hand and wrist bandage. Approaching the ring. 252 pounds. He's it's the grappler. Well, he's approaching very cautiously right now. A lot of after. Oh, here comes Rip Oliver. And so much for caution. There goes a body slam. Look out on the floor. Holy mackerel. Rip Oliver wasting no time. Don Owen got out of there. Well, that was uh, smart. Just get out. This thing is underway right now. There's a grunt match. Look out, look out, look out. Boy, Don better watch himself out there. And Rip Oliver has got the grappler where he wants him on his knees begging for mercy a hard punch there's that thumb that bandaged thumb of rip oliver's going to work into the throat of the grappler and now the grappler being jammed face first into the turnbuckle into the ropes he goes a clothesline and i tell you rip oliver fighting this one for his family there's a lot of family pride family blood in this one and he's fighting this one for the loggers of the northwest because the grappler has uh man he's put everybody down when he when he gets going that get mouth of his gets going and uh, there's hardly anybody that escapes, except uh, people the likes of uh, Brian Adams and Al Madrill, people like that. There's Rip Oliver popping the grappler on top of the head. There's another hard shot, and the grappler's down on his back. Man, I tell you, this is not going to be pretty. This is not going to be pretty at all. This is There's no love lost and a whole lot of bad blood between these two right here. As grip, uh, Rip, the grappler, going, he's just choking the grappler. And now he gets an eye full of the, uh, what are his fingers or 
palm of the hand from the grappler. And now the grappler, the heart jab, another heart jab. And the crippler is hurting right now. He's, uh, he's, he's, I think he's been blinded by that shot right in the eyes. There he goes into the ropes and a hard clothesline by the grappler. And uh, Rip is down. And now the grappler is choking Oliver. And I tell you, this thing's going to be going back and forth. I have a feeling this will be a fight to the finish, but at least there will be no interference because everybody else, all the other wrestlers, are outside. And now the grappler, as the tables are turning now, the grappler, with the momentum going in his favor, a body slam on uh, Rip Oliver, and now an elbow drop across the chest or across the throat, hard to tell. And the crippler kicks out to the delight of the crowd. Man, I tell you, this, these fans in here, they are 100% behind Rip the Crippler. I thought I'd never say that, but boy, they are. They have no use for somebody like the grappler. Oh, and he, as the grappler throws Rip Oliver face first into that iron post. Now, Rip did get his, uh, his arms up there to block that, but he still caught part of it with his forehead. And now the grappler just, man, he's closing in. He is moving in hard and fast now. And he just took a right hand from the crippler. Yes, sir, and that rocks the grappler. The grappler comes back with a right hand of his own. The grappler, face first, he goes, rip the crippler into the apron of the ring. And now these men going at it tooth and nail. Just, oh, look out, look out. Oh, man, it's the grappler going shoulder first into that iron post. I'm telling you, that post wins every single time. And here comes Rip Oliver getting into the ring. And the grappler on his knees again, begging for some mercy. Now, come on, Rip, can't we be some friends? I really do like the loggers. I like those spotted owls. I like everything. But I don't like that jab. No, I don't like that. And there's a right hand by Rip Crippler. And the Crippler going at it now. He's going to bite him. He's biting the Crippler. Or the, on, the, on the face or the neck or something. And Rip the Crippler. Well, he better break. And he does. The forearm smash across the chest of the Crippler. As Rip Oliver, a hard chop, another hard smash. And the Crippler staggered. He staggered out of the ring. He's on his feet, though. And where's he going? The grappler heading back towards the dressing room. And Rip Oliver slams him into the guardrail. He slammed him into the guardrail. Now he's taking him back towards the ring. Throws him into the ring. Now there is no way that Rip the Crippler wants the grappler anywhere else but right in the middle of the ring. He doesn't want the grappler trying to go back towards the dressing room or out towards the parking lot where all of his other buddies are. As the grappler slithers out of the ring like... Jonathan Boyd's pipe on, and now the grappler's going to jog back towards the dressing room, and he is met back there. Before he can even get to the stairs, he's met by Rip Oliver, and Oliver, a hard right hand, staggers the grappler, another right hand, and the gra they're fighting back now towards the ring, and he slams the grappler face first into a chair. Oh, <laughs> and now he slams him into the iron post, and the grappler is looking a little groggy out there. His eyes are glassy as he rolls into the ring and then slithers back out again. There's no way the grappler wants to be in there with Rip Oliver. Uh-uh. Rip Oliver, too much fire in Oliver's eyes. Yes, sir. Too, uh, the grappler knows that he that he's gonna he's getting the worst of it right now. And if he stays in there with Rip the Crippler, things are not gonna bode too well for the grappler unless he does something like that, throwing Oliver shoulder first again into the iron post. And now uh, Grappler, what's he doing? He's reaching down into his boot. He pulled something out of his boot. What's he got there? Brass knuckles? Yeah, he's got, he's, got a, he's got some brass knuckles he pulled out of his boot. Well, this is an anything goes match. Anything, and anything's going right now. As he's got those brass knuckles and he brings them down across the back of the head of Rip Oliver. And Oliver is hurting now. He's definitely hurting. That wasn't, no, those weren't brass knuckles. Those were handcuffs. Those were handcuffs. And now he's going to handcuff Oliver. He's going to handcuff him to the to the ring he's got him handcuffed to the uh, to the turnbuckle bar and now he's just flailing away on rip oliver i can't imagine they wait a minute here comes here comes larry oliver that's rip's son larry oliver is in there coming to the aid of his dad but now he's painting wait a minute he's just a kid just a kid grab him for crying out loud come on take it he, he chops to larry right in the throat and now larry and that's not a thing rip oliver can do First, the grappler attacks Rip Oliver's brother, and now he's attacking his son in the ring. And his son is not a wrestler. He's, he's been a football player for, for Oregon City High School, but, but man, he's not a, he's not a wrestler. And the gra he, grappler doesn't care. He doesn't have any heart. 
He doesn't care at all. What's he got more? He's got more handcuffs in those boots of his. Well, he's reaching for something in there. And he just takes his leg one on Sandy Bar, the referee. And now he's still attacking Larry Oliver, the son of Rip Oliver, and there's not a thing Rip can do because he is handcuffed to the ring. Oh, no, 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 no. The grappler's got that chemical stuff. He's going to burst open that, that chemical container, and he's going to... I know he's going to try to spit it into the eyes of Larry Oliver. And, oh, no, come on. No, he can't pass it. Now, referee Sandy Barr comes up behind Grappler. All right, trying to restore some kind of law and order. There is no way that Sandy Barr wants to see that Grappler spit that kind of stuff in the face of Larry Oliver. Now we've got security people in there. We've got to restore some kind of law and order, some kind of control, some semblance of control as the security people are taking the grappler out of there, back towards the dressing room. Rip all over there with his son, Larry. And Sandy Barr, I don't know if he's got a key to those uh, handcuffs. I guess he does, trying to free Rip Oliver from the uh, from the ring post there. As uh, the security people have have taken Rip, uh, have taken the grappler back towards the dressing room. And, uh, and now Oliver is free, and he's checking, his son's okay. Oliver's all right, but I don't, as far as Oliver's concerned, this match is not through. This match is not finished. He wants the grappler back there. He wants the grappler back there. I have a feeling that, uh, let's keep it here for, for right now, Larry Neat. Let's, let's, let's just keep it here right now because there's, Rip's got a score to settle. He's going to race back towards the dressing room. We may not see his score being settled as, uh, I don't, oh yeah, there they are back there. They're something. Well, they were fighting against the wall there, and now is that Don Owen back there? That looks like Don Owen. And there's Rip. I don't see the grappler. And here comes uh, here comes Don. I have a well, maybe I better get up here into the interview area of the crow's nest. I have a feeling that Rip Oliver is going to uh, he's going to want to finish this match either tonight or maybe next week or maybe sometime during the week. Because this match is not is not through as far as Rip Oliver is concerned, he has a, a real score now to settle with the grappler. Is he? Yeah, he's coming up here. All right. Oh, yeah, he's got the stretcher with him. Rip Oliver's got Rip Oliver's carry out stretcher right there. Don Cox, what he did to my brother, what he did to my wife, and now what he did to what I love most, my son, grappler. You're the lowest life damn scum that ever walked on this earth. And let me tell you something. When the wrestler's barred, you bring the handcuffs, you bring whatever you want, Barry Owens. There's going to be a stop to this. Before, when I was beating on the head, cracking on the head, somebody asked for a match. They got it. I'm asking for one thing. A match I've never lost before. And there ain't no running. There ain't no interference. There's one man gonna leave standing, Daddy. The rest of us, Grappler, the Cripplers carry our services back in action. Next Saturday night, Barry Owens, if you'll give me a stretcher match for that low life, egg sucking dog, scum, poor excuse for a man. What about it, Barry? Grappler, uh, stretcher match? All right, you want to stretch your match, you and Grappler, next Saturday night right here? You got it. Anything goes, the first man to be carried to the dressing room. Can't... All right, stretch your match. You got one, it. Grappler. We got I'll it. put it in off. You're young, but you like to have a new television, a VCR, or a really first-class audio system like this one. But you have no credit? Well, now you do, thanks to Tom Peterson's Young America Instant Credit. If you have a good, regular, steady job, and can afford a down payment, then Young America Instant Credit is for you. Within minutes, you may qualify and pay on convenient monthly payments over a year. Choose this 20-inch Zenith Color Television, $299. This five-piece Pioneer Car Stereo System, $197. This 100-watt Sanyo Audio Rack System, complete with CD player, $499. Sharp Video Recorder, only $287. White Westinghouse Washer and Dryer, $468. Or save $246. A complete three-room package. Sofa love seat, five-piece dinette, three-piece bedding set, all ten pieces, only $5.99. Now that's Tom Peterson, the happy place to buy. It's worth the trip.
Wouldn't it be great if you were at the series and the manager needed a pinch hitter and remembered you from Little League and it was out of here? And wouldn't it be great if instead of calling, you know who brought beer? Really great beer like Keystone. The fresh cold filtered beer in a can that tastes like beer in a bottle because of Keystone's specially lined can. And wouldn't it be great if your face was on a cereal box? Introducing Keystone and Keystone Light. Bottled beer taste in a can. Wouldn't that be great? I still remember when I was on the Rambler Ride show. Look, here's his boat. And now he's celebrating the show's 25th anniversary. You know the best part? It's these cool Ramblin' Rod 25th anniversary t-shirts with Rod and Bugs Bunny and Popeye. You can order yours for just $9 by sending a check or money order to T-Shirt Care of KPTV PO Box 3401 Portland, Oregon 97208. Radical! Hey, don't forget to tell them your size. Video recorders on sale. Two head, 188. Forehead, 288. Hi-Fi, 388. That's Tom Peterson. I can't believe they're going to show any of this on television. This is the candlestick match pitting uh, Big Bill Francis against Ryan Adams. Look at this. And Francis has now lost his candlestick, and he's getting... Oh, man, he's certainly getting the stick from uh, Ryan Adams. The, he's, uh, Adams is using the stick. Look at it. He's just, he's just jabbing him with it. If he's using it like a like a pool stick, and then he and then he's using it like a whip. I mean, this is this is something else. Listen, I'll tell you what. You mark this down. Next Saturday night is shaving up to be one of the most exciting Saturday nights ever at the Portland Sports Arena, the House of Action. First of all, we've got the TV title tournament, and you heard some of those pairings. Man, when Al Madrill found out he was going to fight Brian Adams, he about came unglued. Well, that's going to be the TV tournament for the championship next Saturday night. Also next Saturday night, that stretcher match. Oliver and the grappler in a stretcher match, and you know somebody's going to leave this place in a stretcher or on the stretcher. And also next Saturday night, that rematch has been confirmed for the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Championship, Rex King against Scotty the Body. So this match, uh, you be here. You be here so you can see all the action, the rematch, the championship match between Scotty the Body and Rex King, the stretcher match between Rip Oliver and the Grappler, and, of course, the TV title tournament all happening next Saturday night. Man, I tell you, this is the place to be every Saturday night. This is Don Cost. Thank you very much for joining us from the House of Action, the Portland Sports Arena. This has been Portland Wrestling. We'll see you here next Saturday night. Yes, sir.